What's up, YouTube? This is Dark Wolf Gaming here with my uh, let's top locals Buffalo edition. Um, I played those, this wonderful deck live twin sprite. Um, really fun deck. Uh, let's get into it. We'll, we'll start with the live twin stuff. First, we play three copies of Lilla. Basically, one of your starters for the deck. No, normal her. Uh, she searches out Kiss a Kill. Or you can summon out Kiss a Kill Frost. Depends on what you want. Normally, you would get the Kiss a Kill uh, Frost. So that way, you get it all set up for when she's in the graveyard. Then we play the one live twin Kiss a Kill. Just the one. Uh, she basically has the same effect as uh, Lilla, to where if she's normaled or the only monster on the field, you can special out the other one. Um, there's a cool interaction to where if you normal Lila going second and your opponent tries to imperm her, Valor, and you have uh, one of the cards in her deck, uh, Forbidden Droplets. Uh, you just chain droplet, remove her from the board, uh, negate one of their monsters, and uh, bring her out. And then, since she, when she comes to the field, you uh, she doesn't see any monsters in the field, so you can summon out another blue. Then you play the one of of Killer Frost. Basically, you know, just like an extender to where you can continue on your plays. What she has is a graveyard effect to where if, if your opponent adds cards to their hand from their main deck other than the draw phase, you can banish her and draw a card. And we all know drawing cards in this format, especially the tier zero uh, two elements, Drawing when you're outs or when you have the hand traps to just slow them down or stop them outright is always good. Um, but you know that that's the live twin mo monsters. Uh, next we'll go into the sprite. We play sorry. We play the three blue, Sprite Blue. Basically, what Sprite Blue does lets you search your deck for another Sprite Monster and add it to your hand. Um, also, most of the Sprite cards have all the same uh, ability or a special effect to where, if, as long as you control a level two, rank two, or X, um, or link two, XYZ, two, uh, rank two, or just normal level two, uh, you get special from your hand. Then we play three jet. Um, jet does when it's special, you can activate it. So fact to search out one of the their sprite uh, spells or traps. Next, the next three are pretty standard: sprite red, sprite carrot, sprite pixies. Sprite Red is a monster in the gate where all you have to do is uh, sack one of your other rank twos, level twos, or uh, links and negate the card. Um, if you do an XYZ or a link or a synchro, you can uh, negate and destroy. Um, Carrot is basically spell and trap, the same effect. Um, Pixies is pretty cool. Um, definitely puts pressure on games um, to where if your opponent tacks into a monster, you can use Pixies from hand, if you have it in your hand, to give uh, a monster um, the uh, same attack boost of whatever monsters it's attacking. So let's say they tack into uh, Sprite Red here at 1,200 attack. 
and their monster is 3,000. Well, Pixies just turned Sprite right into a 42 beater. So not bad. Get, get silver big monsters. Um, then we play the one honorary live twin slash Sprite, Imperia. Um, this card is very, very strong. If it's normal or special, it lets you draw a card. And again, we know how we all love drawing cards. Next, we play the honorary live twin slash thirsty sprite out of X scythe. Yes, we do run the scythe lock. Um, that's pretty, pretty um, consistent depending on your hand. Also depends on, you know, how far you can go with interruptions from your uh, opponent. Um, but that's pretty much it for the sprites themselves. Next, we're going to go into um, the spells. Well, some of the spells. We play one secret password. What password does is lets you add another live twin spell or trap card. Which, normally, we will search out Live Twin Sunny Stitch. Uh, we play two. Uh, basically, what it does is it lets us add one Live Twin to our hand. Uh, so, it, it gets us our blue. It gets us our red. It gets a frost. It just gets that card that we're missing into our hand. Um, and that's it for the Live Twin spells. Now we go into the sprite cards, sprite starter. Um, what this card does is it lets you uh, special summon a sprite card from the deck. You burn for whatever the attack power uh, the special summon monster is. So like if it's red, you burn for 1200. Also, I forgot to mention that Sunny Snitch also has a burn effect itself to where anytime your opponent special summons or normal summons, you gain 200, they burn for 200. Almost forgot that. Very important. Never forget that. Um, and then the only bad thing about Starter that I, I kind of don't like, but it's a necessary evil for the deck, I guess, is that it kind of locks you into level 2s, rank 2s, um, and link 2s. Um, but going first, it doesn't matter. Going second, it kind of hurts, but it's all right. We win games. Then we play the one Smashers. Smashers is a really strong card going first. Um, you set it. Um, and then any problematic card that's going to be on the field, you just flip it over and you have to banish a card for cost from your graveyard. It has to be a sprite card. And then you have to a uh, oh, level two monster. And it, and it could be link XYZ. It doesn't matter. It just has to be level two. Uh, send that to the banish pile as well. And then banish one on the card uh, field. Non-targeting. Or if you're going second, you can just, you know... You nine out of ten times you beat it out one of the negates, and then you can just get rid of that monster. Um, then I play what I think everybody is sleeping on. No one plays this card. I don't see why. Um, I play one gamma burst. The fact that sprite starter. And Gigantic lock you into level twos. Most of your uh, sprite monsters and the, the level twos and stuff are pretty low in attack. I mean, they're not weak, but they're not like OP as well. So that basically going second or it, it comes back to your turn. This can literally gain people. All rank two, level two monsters get 1,400 added to their attack. 
So, if you have a Gigantic with a, a Link Monster under it already, that's 34, uh, 32, um, yeah, 3,200 attack from Gigantic's effect. Now you just gave it another 14, uh, yeah, 1,400 uh, attack boost, which is like 40, 46 in one attack, not counting the other ones. But it's a great card. People sleep on it. I don't know why they cut it. I play it at one. It's won me so many games to where I probably would have lost. Next, we're going to go into the hand trap lineup, basically. We play the three ash, self-explanatory, three crow for the tier matchups. Um, anything that tries to bounce something back. You know, you just say no. And then the same thing, we played the two bells. Same thing, you know, for the tier matchup. Or the, the buy steals are a pain in the butt right now. Um, and considering our deck is mostly dark, to where they go target, sprite blue, banish to summon one out of their beast steals, is, is, is crazy. And they're pretty big, so you just bell and say no, which is good. Then we play the three Forbidden dro Droplet. Um, really good card, you know. This deck doesn't have a problem with discarding. It, when I first put the Droplets in, I thought it was going to be a big problem of, you know, can we really afford to discard a card? And the fact that we draw so much off of some of our cards it's like a free card at, at times so i definitely would play the at three next i play three cosmic cut cyclones um i might cut this card for like twin twisters um i've lost a few games going into time because i played this card um, I regretted doing it after the fact, you know, running out of time and you're just trying to clear back row so that way you can just push for as much stamina as possible. Ended up losing a match to Exo Sister in time because of this card. Um, but I would probably, I probably would take this out and, and, and run Twin Twisters at three. Uh, again, for the simple fact that we don't care about the discard, we draw so much, um, and to be able to get rid of up to two cards of of the back row, and considering that Mystic Mine is now banned, we don't have to deal with that card, so it's a it's real good. Then we played three Imperm. I think three is mandatory. This card is so good going first. You just set it, um, and then if they play into the same uh, column as your imperm and you negate one of their monsters, it shuts that spell or trap that they played in that column off, and you shut off a monster effect. Also going second, um, if their combo has a choke point, this card can cut through any chains to where, bam, okay, you get the draw, but you're not playing anymore. You know, and then there's times where they can keep going, but it all depends. If they have it, they have it. The extenders and whatnot to get going and, and to keep playing. And if they don't, well, then, you know, you're pretty good at that. And then I play the one, Macros Cosmos. Um, I might bump this up, considering that it just came... Um, off the ban list. Uh, uh, to, it, well, it didn't come off the ban list. It was at one. Now we can play three. Um, th this was my list going into the OTS championship in Rochester. Uh, so I played, I main this. And one of my games, I, I opened it. And it just literally won me the game because he couldn't play. 
Um, he was playing tears, of course. Um, but he was a he was a great sport about it, and he actually gave me a little tip on uh, playing this deck a little bit better. So, you know, I, I definitely appreciate him. Um, but that's it. That's the main deck. I play 42. Um, I've been trying to find a card or two to cut. And I just can't seem to do it. I mean, most lists don't run Gamma Burst. So that card you can hit. And you could probably cut down like a, a Cosmic. Or if, if I do change it to Twin Twisters, just play in two. Um, that would drop us down to 40. Um, but I really don't see a, a consistency problem with it at four, uh, 42. Considering that, again, we draw so many cards. We draw a card off of Killer Frost. We draw a card off of Imperia. Um, we draw a card off of Evil Twin uh, Kiss a Kill. Um, there's even plays to where... On your turn, you're drawing two cards, and on your opponent's turn, you're drawing two cards. So that's in two turns, you're drawing four cards, not counting your draw for your turn. If you you know if you didn't go first, but into the extra deck, we do play the one Sunny Trouble. Um, this card is really really good. It, it's a thirty three booty. Um, and it has two effects. First one is the quick effect. Um, quick effect, you can tag yourself out to uh, special summon uh, up to one red, one blue. Uh, evil Twin Kiss a Kill or Evil Twin L L Lila, or Lila, sorry. Also, if she's in your graveyard, her other effect is um, we don't play it. Or we tend not to do it as well. There's a main deck monster, Evil Kill, uh, Evil Twin, Kiss Kill, and Lila. Uh, main deck monster, we, we don't play that. And technically, we could sack um, either the red or the brew if we didn't uh, use their effect to special the other one back. So, I mean, it's, it's there to where it's just we you know, non target send to the graveyard. So, really good. Next, we play the two copies of Evil Twin Lila. Um, basically, her effect is when she is special summoned and she sees the other one, um, she can pop a card. Um, also, during the main phase, she can bring back her counterpart, um, and that would trigger the other one's effect. To draw a card. Then. We play her counterpart. Evil Twin Kiss a Kill. At three. Um, basically kind of has the same effect. To where if it's special doubt. And it sees the other one. You can draw a card. Also again. During the main phase. If uh, Evil Twin Lila is not on the field. She can quick effect special it back, but it's only during the main phase. Then we play the, it should say, live twin Dagda, but it don't. It says artifact Dagda. Basically, this is to dig out your uh, artifact scythe from the, the, the deck. You, you make it, um, then you have to activate an effect of a card. To trigger this. So you have to do like a starter. Or a jet. Or something that just triggers it. So you can chain onto it. Um, and then you basically. Scythock them. Next we play. Two Sprite Elf. Um, basically. Quick effect. Target the level 2. Uh, monster in the graveyard. Special summon it. And if your opponent controls a monster, you can target a Link or an XYZ, which is kind of pretty good. So, you know, there's times to where your end board could be Sprite Elf 
point pointing to one of the what I like to do is try to leave red um evil twin a uh, kiss kill so that way once they summon something especially if it's their normal summon I'll chain the effect of uh sprite out targeting uh Lila bring her back since she was special summon and she sees uh evil twin kiss kill pop that card you know game changer then we play the two gigantic um basically this is you're gonna make this first turn get get your uh imperial out draw a card uh extend for plays you know even if they hit this with something if they hit it like with an imperm well thank you you just you now you, i can make a level uh rank four link four you know whatever is in my deck Next we play, and then like I said earlier, Gigantic with any Link monster under it gains, uh, it doubles, so it'd be thirty two hundred. So thirty two hundred booty smack and face, oh, nice. Then we play the one unicorn, just for the fact that you know you affect spin a card. Um, the good thing is. When you make the live twins, I forgot to say, is that when you make the, the girls, they lock you into uh, evil twin card monsters. Um, fiends, I should say, not evil twin monsters, uh, just fiends themselves. And Nightmare, uh, Nightmare Unicorn is a fiend. Um, what's good is that you can... Uh, have the the other one with it normal any card make this now it's co-link bounce a card discard a card draw a card again it's like a lot of draws which is good and considering that we have so many different uh link monsters you know we have the access code again Clear field, uh, field, make him really big, smack face. Then, considering the next two cards are really not in anybody's list that I've seen, so I play the one Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. You literally can spam the board, so... Depending on the board itself you, that you're playing against, this can literally out any problematic uh, card to where if they're sitting on, I don't know, a Rikalos for a Tears. Well, you link her and four other cards, make her, again, really good. Also, this um the evil twins don't lock you off from her because she's a fiend then i also play one de gusto phoenix um sometimes especially going second you're not going to want to do the dagda play you just want to go for the kill shot and if you you can get to gamma burst Digusto Phoenix's effect is you detach a card, target any wind monster you control, and it can attack twice. So this is your wind. Target itself. Now it can attack. It's a uh, 1500 attack. With the 1400 boost, is 29. Tw 29 twice. That's a lot of damage. And then, you know, you this... And a gigantic with a link monster on, under it. it. It's pretty much game. Um, but that's it. Um, I would just say that side decking is basically, I would always say, just uh, whatever your meta is in your locals, you know, adjust accordingly to that. Um, ours is kind of a tier is easy, heavy. Uh, area 
mixed in with some sprites and other stuff, but, you know, my side deck, you know, is custom to that, to where your side deck might be different. Um, so just choose um, whatever is best for your locals. Um, I topped uh, last week. My buddy topped the week before. His profile was up with the Exo Sisters. And then my buddy Char, the one uh, Cyber Dragon, he just topped locals uh, this weekend. So our team, Team Glaze Cinnabons, you know, we've topped one of us at least each week. Um, when I played, my matchups were Brandon Despi, I, I 2-1 them. Um, it was pretty easy, just negated stuff that I knew. Um, I had the Ash for uh, Brendan Fusion. You know, I'm going to wait for that. Um, then I played uh, Labyrinth. I did not know what that deck, deck did. Um, I just tried to get rid of all the back row. I just know, know it was a back row heavy deck. I 2-1 two, uh, two them. Um, getting around three, I played Sprite Biscuits. Um, I lost one to two for a, a darn misplay. Um, going into game three, I slew him down just enough to where all his board was was a Sprite Sprint and a Dijin, a Dijin Buster. Um, I had Forbidden, not Forbidden Droplet, um, I had Imperm in my hand. I can play through one negate from the D Gem Buster, and I should have negated the sprint. I totally forgot about the bounce effect that it can do. And yeah, normal attempt effect of uh, Lala. Yeah, he bounced it back. That was pretty much, I could not recover. A misplay cost me my 4 0, but it's okay. You know, mistakes happen. You know, you live and learn. Um, that's why I'm just trying to stick with this deck and try to learn the ins and outs and the intricacies of, of everything. And then round four, I played against uh, Florin uh the Birds. I had two won them. Uh, I went first, basically just set my board up, knew where to hit, you know, it, my one friend played this enough against me to where I know where all the interactions is. I know what needs to get off the board or stop. Um, game two, he won. He, he just set up his board, and I could not uh, play through everything. I almost did, but I just ran out of gas. And then game three of that match, same thing as the first. He normal summoned Rubina. I imperm the Rubina. He passed. He had nothing else to go. Um, quick, easy match. Um, but that was my top locals. I'm going to post my uh, my standings, you know, a little picture somewhere along the screen. I think I, I believe I ended up in six with a 3-1, which is not bad. I think probably should have been higher, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, there was a couple other three of ones. But that's it, guys. Please like, comment, and uh, subscribe. And I'm going to be pushing more Yu Gi Oh! content, video game content. I'm definitely going to get in there for you guys. Um, thank you.